Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for some new Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. So we're gonna be taking a look at a lot of newer support for a bunch of different archetypes, appliances, we got Cypher support. There's gonna be some new water support. Apparently it's gonna be like the strongest stuff. Let's actually see if it lives up to the name. And then some more information on King's Court that actually is going to be delayed again. But on top of that, and the most exciting thing that I'm personally excited about is new D Hero support. And if you're excited about that, drop a like on this video. I'll hopefully get a uh, Mali to three though, at least as a nice little starter. But but uh, anyways, appliancer support. Let's go ahead and check that out. So uh, appliancer uh, propellion. It looks like a like a fan. Anyways, it's a link one wind uh, machine link effect monster. It's a 1200 attack link zone is going to be in the top. And its materials are one appliancer monster. Cannot be used as link material to turn it is link summon. The first part of the effect is that this card can attack directly. The second part is once per turn during damage calculation, if your monster battles an opponent's monster and this card is co-linked, you can change your opponent's battling monsters attack to zero during that damage calculation only. And the third effect is once per turn during damage calculation, if this card is not co battles an opponent's monster, you can change your opponent's battling monsters attack to zero during that damage calculation only. Uh, pretty much for like most of the battle phase, changing things to zero, eh, it's a little bit weak. If it was a quick effect, it still would have to like negate the monster's effect to be anywhere what we would need to make appliances actually usable. Because I remember everyone like built it. It's like one of those like random archetypes that you just end up building because it's like so cheap. But let's see the last card. Maybe it'll make up for it. Appliancer Conversion. So it's a quick play spell card that says you can only use the first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn. The first part of the effect is to banish as many appliance or link monsters in your main monster zones as possible. Then you can special summon your banished appliance or link monsters up to the number of monsters banished by this effect. The second part is during your main phase if this card is in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there, you can banish one other appliance or spell so trap from your graveyard to add this card to your hand. This is a lot better being able to go ahead and banish and you can just special summon a bunch of the other cards considering maybe if you banish them, maybe you get some other bonus effects. I could see this card being a lot better for the arc type but i'm curious to know if any of you guys do play appliancers does this actually make it meta levels of good uh, or is it just like okay cool support card but at the end of the day the archetype that wasn't so good is just a little bit better but it doesn't really do anything because i haven't seen anyone even play appliancers within like months i want to say um, next up though we got more cypher support so this is cypher biplane it is a level six light machine effect monster with a thousand attack and two thousand defense points and it's level six um so as you can only use the first and third effects of this card's name each once per turn. The first part of the effect is if a cypher monster or monsters is normal or spell summoned to your field, you can spell summon this card from your hand. The second part is once per turn, you get to target two cypher monsters you control that have a level. The levels become eight until the end of this turn. Okay. And the third part of the effect is if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard to add one cypher monster from your deck. Now that's actually a pretty nice little effect considering it's pretty much just going to go ahead and get that effect. And then on top of that, you could have it easy summon effect and it it just has a level so it can target itself right okay i just had to double check on that because sometimes it says like accept those cards okay uh, but only the first and third effects are once per turn uh next up we have cypher interface another continuous spell card that says that you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn the first part of the effect is during damage calculation if your cypher monster battles and there's another monster with the same name on the field you can double your battling cypher monster's current attack until the end of the battle phase uh cypher is another archetype where i would say i'm not super familiar with but i guess like again when you're like doubling attack and stuff it is a continuous so your opponent's gonna like see it it's not like a surprise and then next up we have double exposure as a continuous spell card that says you can only use this first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn the first part of the effect is you can target one level uh two level six or lower monsters on the field with the same name double their levels okay now you're in, you're able to make a lot more stuff considering you can make them what up to eight, uh, eight. uh the, okay so you go from either 12 or you can yeah where is it uh Okay, so yeah, you can, oh, it, it's uh, six. Um, you can go rank six or it's specifically like rank eight. And then on top of that, you get to double their levels. So you can go to 12 or 16, which I don't think exists in Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> uh, at, at the moment. And there might be some anime cards. Comment down below if there's actually something that you can go that high with. Anyways, the second part of it is at the start of the battle phase, you have to target one cypher monster you control. 
the name of one other face of monster in the field becomes the target cipher's uh, monster's name until the end phase. Oh, that's really easy. Now you can have easy access to running over something, but again, uh, in order for it to become like, you know, viable in the game. And I always mention it, but it's like, this is the truth with Yu-Gi-Oh these days. Next up though, okay, so the, the strongest water duelist is arriving. I guess these are his cards. Let's see if they're actually the strongest monster or if it's just like, you know, some random text that they throw in there. So Silent Sea Nettle is a level four water aqua effect monster, 800 attack, 1300 defense points. And it says, you can only use the first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn. The first part of the effect is if you control a water monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can't special summon monsters the turn you activate this, except for water monsters. The second part of the effect is you can banish this card from your graveyard and target up to three water monsters in graveyard and shuffle them into the deck. At least shuffle them and draw one. I mean, the summoning condition is pretty nice. I will admit just like if water, bam, special summon it. You can already do that with like Aqua Spirit and it can also facilitate the numbers of cards to manipulate from Moonland Glacia. The banish effect, if it at least let you draw one, then it would be like, okay, it's okay. I, I would consider that like super OP or anything, at least not yet. Let's wait until we see the rest of the support though, because we do have a rank four. This is going to be uh, number four Stealth Kragen. It is a rank four water aqua exceeds effect monster, 1900 attack and 1500 defense points. And it requires two level four water monsters in it. First part of the effect is all face up monsters on the field become water. The second part is once per turn during the main phase, as a quick effect, you destroy one water monster your opponent controls. And if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to the half the attack it had on the field. The third part of the effect is if this exceeds summon card is destroyed, supposed to summon a Kraken spawn or spawns from your extra deck up to the number of materials this card had. Then you can attach up to one water monster from your graveyard to each of them as material. Okay, I'm not sure what the Kraken spawns are yet, but we'll definitely check that out. But this effect is actually really good. Um, at, you know, just being able to instantly, when as soon as it comes out, you can pop one and then burn them. And then it doesn't even say like you can't attack with this card. It's attacks like mediocre, but on top of that, that, that burn damage could actually start adding up. It's interesting that the water is doing burn. Usually they're like around discarding like AOI and uh, what is it? Moulin Glacier, but this is still a really good effect. Okay, legitimately. Let's see what this Kraken Spawn does. All right, so this is the Kraken Spawn. It's a rank four Water Aqua Exceeds Effect Monster. 1900 attack, 1500 defense points. The materials are two level four water monsters. And once per turn during the main phase, as a quick effect, you destroy a water monster opponent controls. Um, that's, okay, that's still good. Wait, wait, so, because each of the effect is like once per turn, but uh, that's really good. Okay, hold on. Um, if this card is special summoned by a number Exceeds Monsters, effect is destroyed. You can special summon other Kraken monsters from your graveyard up to the number of materials this card had, then you can attach up to one water monster from your graveyard to each of them as material. Okay, this is insane water support, okay? As long as that like can proc the other, other water monster effects, I know some of them kind of have some mess ups. As long as you can proc those water monsters effects, this card is amazing. Like it, it straight up makes so many other archetypes. They would be able to use some of the water exceeds to be a lot more viable. There's actually, um, yeah, this is, this is good stuff. I would say now it's looking good because this, it just instantly brings it out, right? You can splash someone a crag and attach one monster from your graveyard to each of them as material. Um, so basically you summon it, you're probably gonna activate the effect, then you still get one, then you get to reattach, and then maybe you get the other effect. I mean, this effect is like, okay. Uh, so basically this card does have actually really good use because then you don't have to play multiple copies of these because you can just recycle them. I think this card's amazing. And this card's effect, the important part with this, it still can get the effect um, the same turn it's sent to the graveyard, which is like some of the new Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you know, they're like, you can't do it the same turn. Amazing stuff. Like actually genuinely really good water support. Next up, this this is what I've been waiting for, the D-Hero support. All right, so we got D-Force. Continue spell card that says when this card resolves, you get to add a Destiny Hero Plasma from your deck or a graveyard to your hand. That's actually a pretty good effect. And then the second part is while you control a Destiny Hero Plasma, apply these effects. You can't draw during the draw phase. Your opponent cannot target cards you control with card effects. The other part, each Destiny Hero Plasma you control gains 100 attack for each monster in the graveyard. It cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects and it can make a second. What? Plasma's the negate, like, it's like the skill drain. It's a snatch steal and it's a skill drain. It has 1900 plus, it gains the stats. Then it gains extra stats, then it cannot be targeted. I don't really like that idea because it's more like a, a super boss. I'm, I'm trying to win, but like, it's good. It generally, genuinely is pretty good if you want to to do that place that's real easy to get gameplay for and then d dr d okay normal spell card banish one destiny monster from your graveyard add to your hand or special one destiny monster from your what that's insane 
that is so good considering it's like there's so many free targets for D heroes to start cycling and vision hero and like the 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 the, the synergy that you can have is good and then on top of that you can bash carburetor target two destiny monsters you control the attack of one of them becomes the attack of the other monster okay so you banish this card target the attack of one monster becomes the attack uh, so then like I, I don't I don't really know how good this is. I mean this for this part of the fact is already really good And like this other fact is like a lockdown so D heroes have a real easy lockdown You're gonna have to deal with skill drain and a monster that cannot be targeted and pretty much has enough stats Most of the time because uh, it's each monster in the graveyard So yeah, you could potentially get it up and then um, this is just some info really quick on the uh, TCG for Kings court is delayed it's been delayed again for july 7th and 9th uh no explanation but that's a pretty self-explanatory thing uh but let me know guys what you think of new support for once i felt like we got some new okay the uh, 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 planters i actually don't really know too much about um the uh cypher cards it's like okay and you can start making some crazy stuff the water support's good the d hero support is good and i'm actually excited about that but anyways you guys can let me know your thoughts down below on any of the cards we talked about. But if you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. And if you're new here and do want to be updated on more new Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I'll get you guys gameplay of the new Plasma. There's going to be new boss Plasma D-Hero combos. I mean, it's basically you search out Plasma and you can you have more consistency with D-Draw and Allure still at three. D-Heroes are actually looking pretty good, but can we please have Mali at three? Uh, but uh, anyways, if you want to see gameplay of that, subscribe to the bell and you'll see you some very soon. But take care. I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Peace.